Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be working on this 2000 Ford Ranger. My mother-in-law just bought it. She's wanting to get it running. Uh, I, ex I suspect that what we got wrong with it is a fuel pump. It's not getting any fuel to the engine. So we're going to get up here, test some stuff out, verify if it's a fuel pump or not, and then we'll show you how to go ahead and take the bed off and put in the new fuel pump. So let's go ahead and get to wrenching. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come up to the driver's side of your engine bay here, move your plastic cover, and then on this particular fuse block here, this back one is gonna be your fuel pump relay. So you wanna pull this and then with your test light right here, you wanna go ahead and test all the terminals. Okay. All right, so with that fuel pump relay removed now on your first terminal here, this one here, you should have constant power, okay? And then put it on this one here All right, just kind of put it in there. And this should be your power when you turn the key on. So let's go ahead and turn that key on. See if I can't set you all up right here. All right. That one there is going to be key on power. The one right here, that's your ground. And then this one back here is gonna be your signal wire going to your fuel pump. So if you verified that all those have power and the relay is good, the next thing we need to move to is gonna be the fuel cutoff switch. So let's go over there. It's gonna be on the passenger side of your vehicle it's on the passenger side floorboard it'll be this button here so on this button you can see this little red tab I guess you can call it coming down so this means that it is not tripped so if you were to look at this and you did not see this red tab sticking down, go ahead and press the top of it and it'll reset this switch and test your fuel pump again. Now, if after doing that, you still do not have fuel getting to the engine, then more than likely you're gonna have a fuel pump that's out. So we'll get some tools together and we'll see what we gotta do to get this bed taken off and remove that fuel pump. 